From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into The Horse's Mouth here on Blue Horn TV at Tommy Mac's Place. We're talking marketing, we're talking advertising with our group of panelists. Gentlemen, welcome to the bar. Welcome back to Summer Inn. Welcome. My big friend, right? I mean, you're looking young, Dion. What are Lonnie? What are you been lifting a ton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was coming on the show. <laughs> <laughs> well done. All right, I didn't prep you for this question, but I think it's very important. Uh, the messaging of Jaguar owner Shad Khan as of late, moving a home game, another home game to London, and now came out yesterday and said that he's taking the pressure off the fan base to have to support them for eight home games i don't like it. i don't like it at all but i want to get your reaction we're going to start with you start with me yep, all right you're the one um you know we've been talking about social media a lot and so you know just looking at the sentiment around town um it, it's not connecting i think he's put up a pretty big wall between himself and the fans yep and um yeah i don't like it either i mean i've i when i came here i, I played baseball at jackson university and um 99 was the first year i came up Yep. Um, you guys had a big year, and it was like, okay, I'm a Jags fan, so I've been a fan for a long time, and for them to continue to move away from the city, I mean, I understand economics of a business, but yep. it hurts the fans. Lonnie, actions speak louder than words. We're always taught that, right? But this seems like the action you can maybe be okay with, but I think the wording is... It's not right, and it sits. It doesn't sit well with people around here. It's not going to because it's the Jags are the city's team, their, right. their, their lifeblood, and so uh, taking it a game away already, you right. know, one more game right. is not going to sit well. But uh, yeah, fan base, the fans have been here. The fans, yep. are, the fans are there. They're at the games, and uh, they 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 just want to see great product on the field. Right. And so you, you can't ask for anything more than that. Uh, that's fair. Yep. And so right now, moving the team off and then saying that. Uh, it, it's 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 likely the team will be. You know, Shad Khan gets a lot of credit for his business mm -hmm. and what he's done, and he should, rightfully so. Sure. He's been here nine seasons, one winning one, Alan, and now you're taking your team to London for another home game. Can we concentrate on a winning product and not the fan experience and maybe explain it a little bit better? What do you think? I think we can and we should. I mean, you know, Shad is, uh, I think, responsible for putting a winning product out, and I think that it's a huge... Um, loss for us to lose a whole home game. Um, it's it's rough on the city. I mean, everybody makes more money that day. It's a big event in right. Jacksonville. It's right. something that you know my friends and I, my business partners, my clients all look forward to. You know, going to that game and there's a whole day built around it here in Jacksonville for a great many people. Right. And everybody makes more money that day that's in the service industry. Yeah. So to say that we can't support to take the pressure off of us to support. You know, another day that of of fun here in Jacksonville where we can all make more money. I mean, I, I just don't. You know, I don't see where that matches up. And I think, you know, he ha he needs to put more emphasis on us winning here in Jacksonville. Yeah, I think Joe. The best thing about sports is it brings people together. Sure. All kinds of people, and you you sit next to people that maybe you've never met before, you know, seen before, you don't even know, but you'll high five them when right. the team <laughs> scores a touchdown. Sure. You know what I mean? I mean that's you're missing out. I totally agree with what Alan's saying. Right. And people are missing out on, on making extra revenue, but you're also missing that part of our closeness knit community. And I agree. I mean, I grew up here in Jacksonville. I remember when we got the team. I yep. remember the Gator Bowl, the old Gator Bowl. When it was raised and the new stadium came up, I mean, there was such excitement in the city in this little small town in, in North Florida. Um, you know, but then you look at it, is it a business entertainment or is it an entertainment business? And I think who, where you put that word first, where you're sitting on that, you know, side of the sidelines, if you will, yep. um, that's kind of where things come. There's got to be that happy medium. It's got to work out for both sides. Yep. I see what Sean say, or Sean Khan's saying. Um, is it going to translate into more people coming to games, being more excited? That's to be seen. But um, I still think there's a lot of you know great fans in this city that will still do those high fives. Yes, they're going to lose a game, right. um, but they're still going to be out there. It's, it, it's a very strong community. I've got some best friends that have been season ticket holders since day one, yeah, yeah. and, and they're, they're going to be there. So yeah. um, you know, I think with that excitement they build up, uh, you know, others will come. Mm -hmm. I agree on 55,000 will be there. The yeah. other 20 are iffy. They're mm -hmm. like, eh, do I really want to go? They're not winning. They don't, you know, this whole home will get them next sure. time attitude. You know, I think that 
I'm one of them. And right, I, we right. get to go for free. Yeah, and right. I won't go when they're playing like crap. I'm, like, I'm not going down there for I that. think the tarps will still be up there in, yeah. in those areas. I don't think, uh, mm -hmm. you know, depending on who comes, you know, I just don't know if we're going to be able to, you know, to fill that again yep. um, anytime soon. But, um, you know, we're wishing the best. All right, Lonnie, you're the demographic, I think, <laughs> when Shad Khan talks about game experience. Yeah. Right? You got the pools, the cabanas, exactly. the music. The lights, that, that's all a distraction. I, mean, I just want to watch a football. <laughs> yeah. But is that wearing thin on the younger generation? Or are they still I mean, like, hey, man, it's a party. We're going no matter what. Honestly, a lot of my friends, the sentiment I've gotten from them is that, hey, we just want to go to the games and hang out, have a good time. Jags probably aren't going to win at this point in time. Wow. But uh, we're going to go and we're going to have a good time and just see like see some football happen and do right. something on a Sunday evening or afternoon, whatever the case might be. We talked about social media, TikTok, all that. Maybe, yeah. maybe Shad Khan should do a little TikTok. I mean, I don't <laughs> Explain know. it a little bit better. I don't know if he should be up there dancing or anything like that, but I no, think right. uh, but, but I think there's an opportunity for the Jaguars to get in front of the younger crowd. And, I mean, one of the main things they've been able to hang their hat on is the game day experience, you know? Whenever sure. there's nothing else going on, if, like, we, we don't know if we're going to win today, but uh, if nothing else, we can go to the stadium and have a good time. Right. So I think from, like, for my age group, they like having the nice amenities and everything to go do there because it gives us something to do here in Jacksonville, right. even if the Jags aren't going to win. Something hey, fun. Exactly. We're right. going to do something for fun. So if you right. put that out on social media somewhere, like, hey, come watch us have a good time. I think maybe older groups might be like, no, we want to see you guys win. We're like, hey, we have something to do. Mm -hmm. right. You know? So it's a little bit different. I think our older – we can all call ourselves older guys on this panel. We mature. Like, mature. We go down to the corner. You know, we can have Sunday fun day down at the corner in Atlantic Beach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't need to go all the way to the south. Yeah, I can go to different places. I ride my bike. I can do whatever, you know. Yeah. But we do want to see that winning product. Tom, you know? on the one hand, I would, I would, I've always wanted to travel to London and see a mm -hmm. Jaguar game because I think it would be really a cool mm -hmm. experience. Yep. So – if a second game there wasn't a, a thinly veiled attempt to kind of ease us in the direction of losing the team one day, then mm -hmm. that's fine. Because I would love to go to London and enjoy that experience of seeing the Jags play another. But I'm not sure that's what it is. And, yeah. and you know, one London game a year is probably plenty for us to build a European fan base. Yeah, it's to, nostalgic. To After that, cool. it's like, yeah, yeah I wouldn't want to take one away. I but say, I don't think we need to add one. Well, I would say, are you going to get that one back that, that would right. be the next thing because next right. year if that one still goes well over there which it should yep then that's two more we that have, you right, it, right. it'll be yeah. on the on the list for, yeah. right. for the rest of the time well talk yeah. about marketing how about marketing to free agent you were a free agent you came from from the titans right you yeah. came to jacksonville um but you look how are you going to market that to free agents are they going to be okay with three uh, weeks in london no no. Right? Leaving no. the family. The kids no. can't come. And, and you know, they're in school. You can right? have you can have fun as a single. <laughs> right. But but the married guys are probably mm -hmm. like, yeah, no, nah, because yeah, yeah. that's going to cost me more. I'm going to have to bring my wife and my family. Right. Uh, if I don't, then that's and three weeks. I'm going to fall into time with the yeah. wife. Yeah. Where are yeah. you? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Practical. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Not, not, not looking good. Yeah. All right. We talked. Let's not. We'll get off the Jags thing. They got to win more for us. Let's talk about your business, Alan, being a clothier here in town. How do you find the best marketing for your business? Well, for me, it's obviously word of mouth, and I think you know that's the the, the repetition of business with people who are well known in the community and doing a good job. Uh, we ask for reviews a lot. We find okay. that uh, the currency now of credibility is reviews or our reviews. So. When somebody looks at you and two or three other companies to do kind of that due diligence, mm -hmm. who's got more than five reviews that is still pretty strong in the positive column, like 4.7, 4. and it's not bad to have a bad review on there. You right. know, in, in, as long as you've responded to it, addressed it, people go, well, this is legit. I mean, I see mm -hmm. that they took too long on this one order, but gosh, we, he's got oodles of people that say he's the best guy ever, mm -hmm. you know, and, and so yep. we, we ask for those reviews. I think that's one of the big thing if you're in a client facing yeah you know, Lonnie, you're out there fundraising for the school right harvest community and being yeah. their athletic director how yeah. do you i mean they got to see it right people want to see you hear from you yeah. in person have you done any TikToks with uh, Lonnie the Third here? I think we're, we're, we're on to something here, Lonnie. I think we're on to TikTok. You know? Know? I'll make him dance. Yeah. There you go. go. Hey, you get to dance. Right? <laughs> do, you, do you have to dance on a TikTok? No. no. no you don't have to dance. Right? Yes, yeah, of course. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah, right, right. I was but, uh, dancing in Vegas. Yeah, it, 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 it's, <laughs> it's, it's mainly face-to-face. -face. You know, yep. lunchtime. If people mm -hmm. want to see you, they want to talk to you. Want to right. want, to, want to hear your voice. They want to know, uh, look in your eye, and see that you're sincere about what you're doing for the community mm -hmm. and and how you're going to use obviously their funds 
right. to, to make a difference to right. the community, make not lives just better. yeah, just not, not just the kids because it used to be the kids. Hey, right. we're, we're doing this for the kids, but uh, everyone is doing it for the kids now. Right. And so you have to be a little bit more. Yeah. How, how will you impact the community? Right. You know, how will you have the kids get out in the community? And what are we going to be able to see right. for the investment that we're making? And Pat, in, in your business, I think with everybody's business, like at the end of the day, you're helping people, right? I mean, you're helping them make the right choice, Absolutely. have the right insurance, whatever the case may sure. be, right? So there's a part of that in what you're doing as well. Yeah, absolutely. And back to the reviews, I mean, it, it certainly is currency. You know, like my wife will, she's a researcher. I'm not. I'm, you know, top three, call them whoever gets back to me. Great. It's right. a reputable. Right. Right. She'll do the research. She'll look at all the reviews and things like that. So it's great from a credibility standpoint. It's also good for search. You know, if you have more reviews, you're going to come up ahead of your competition if it's apples to apples, if you're in the same business. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so having those reviews certainly helps with the credibility, also helps with you being found. Um, and then, you know, it's back to what we were talking about at the break with authenticity. Yep. Yeah. You know, it's having, yep. it's unique. having that brand out there that is unique, but also it's authentic. It's right. real and it's something that people it's can It's got to come across genuine. Right. Right. And it's it's got to be genuine. And I'll tell you, I mean, uh, I've got a jacket from Alan and I'll give him a review right now. It was oh. one of the <laughs> best jackets I had. I didn't bring it today. But um, it, he really took the time to see what I wanted, uh, fit me well. Um, it was done in a very timely manner and, and at a great price. So um, why don't we just turn the whole show you. There, there you go. Monty was one of my best teammates. And he knows the game as well as anybody. And he can run young, young people. He can lead young people. I know this. Absolutely. Somewhere. You do have to do a good job. You know, yeah. uh, you have to. Credibility is you know, everything, yeah. Alan, right? It's it is. Everything. It is. And, and it's so great to, you know, you, you need to be cautious of people who come to you and, and you know, are, are, are coming to you with an offer that you weren't necessarily looking for compared to somebody you found, you know, somebody that you went at, you know, you did a right. little bit of research and right. you're going to this person and you're like, I'm confident this person will do a good job. And then everything that you experience when you get there affirms that, you know, right. uh, uh, you know, makes that come to light. And you're like, wow, this guy is good. He really does care. He makes me a sure. jacket, you know, holy yep. cow, yep. you know, it all lines up, you know. Yeah. I'm going to so, let you have the last word, Lonnie. Sure. You have a bunch of followers. Yeah. Is there a lot of pressure to keep those followers? And, and how do you do it? Um, is there a lot of pressure to keep the followers? I would say not entirely because I, I, I like to believe that they follow me because of who I am. And that's something I tried to make happen at the very beginning. I'm like, I'm not going to sell you guys or like, put forward an image or an idea that's not who I am and not what I really care about and what I'm really about. And so in all the videos and all the content I make, I try to make sure it reflects that. And so it's just me being me, honestly. And again, the whole authenticity, credibility thing, like that's important on whatever platform you're on because they're gonna look to see, are you being fake here? Are you just saying like, oh my gosh, thanks guys. And then behind it, you're like, oh, we don't really like you or something like that, you know? But that they look and they can snip it out, you know? It's like. It's like the whole world is getting smaller again. You know, the internet made it big, but now it's smaller. Like people are going to talk like, oh, that's that guy who lied to his followers about X, Y, and Z. But I think if you just true to yourself and honestly follow your standards and your morals. Yeah. I think it'll play out in your favor in the long run. Hey, good luck on the decathlon, man. Thank you. Yeah, oh, yeah. For the Olympics. That's oh, yeah. Did you, you teach him how to high jump, pole vault? What did you pole teach him? Pole vault. Pole vault. Yeah. <laughs> I broke a pole for him. I broke it. Yeah, no doubt. You built like a pole vault. <laughs> That's right. Don't look that way, right? Thanks so much for joining. That's Cheers good. to everybody. Cheers. Thanks for being right Cheers. here at Tommy Evans <laughs> Max Place. That'll do it for us right here on the Horse's Mouth on Bluehorn TV. Talking marketing right here at Tommy Max Place. Until next time, stay cool out there, be safe. We'll see you right here on The Horse's Mouth.